Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do tutorials and reviews of affordable makeup, but in this video, we're doing Fridays are a drag. And this is my new Friday series. I do every Friday a look from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 13, Eliminated Queen. So this week, Kamara Hall got eliminated, of course, and we're going to be doing this look. And you'll see how I created this. This is a whole fun process. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new video upload. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific time and also go live almost every Monday at 11. So like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, the links are down in the description box, and so is my Patreon group. So let's get right into this fabulous tutorial. So before we go on, a few words about the look I uh, created and how I came up with it. So of course, this is the, from episode 4 of RuPaul Drag Race season 13. Kamora Hall went home after she lip-synced with Denali. Denali killed it, killed it. This was probably my favorite lip-sync of all times. I don't know, maybe I'm forgetting the older lip-syncs, but I was like, yes, 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 queen. I mean, every single move was to the beat, to the right point. I mean, this is Kamora Hall video, but I'm like, Queening over Denali because it was so so freaking good. If you guys haven't seen that lip sync, just look up on YouTube Denali versus Kamora Hall. Oh, unbelievable. So Kamora had this long beautiful gown, like a very Asian because she's Asian of course. It was all covered with dragons and gold. Beautiful, but it was very heavy. She could not lift it up, I guess, and she couldn't dance. So yeah, I knew she was going to go home immediately. She was standing there, I'm like, no, please move. So yeah, it was kind of sad. But she's the most beautiful glam uh, pageant queen, the old school drag style, I mean, everything. When I will look at Kamora, this is what I imagine my drag style would be. Like everything, 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 very glamorous. Like, I like comedy, but I think I'm more of a... Glam. I mean, Elena Glam is my channel name, dog. So, <laughs> so yeah, I love her style. Uh, she, her makeup is more uh, simple, I would say, but it's very perfect. Like, I like her makeup style. She's got a tutorial. I'm going to list this tutorial here. It's from RuPaul Drag Race um, channel on YouTube, and she does 28-minute tutorial. It's not one of those queen tutorials, like a sped up for like three minutes and you don't learn anything. She actually explains things and I agree with her. She does her eyes first. She almost does makeup like a professional makeup artist and I, I really appreciate it. I enjoyed the way she did her tutorial, her makeup. Uh, so I use that tutorial, the guide, the way I'm going to do a makeup tutorial now, except I did it, the makeup that she did in the video. I mean, in the video, in the episode. Uh, of course, there is no tutorial for the episode, but she released the pictures on Instagram. So I'm going to insert the screenshot, the screenshot from YouTube I took, like where she was lip syncing, here, somewhere, and another screenshot somewhere here of the actual pictures she released on Instagram. Here's the thing, on Instagram picture, she totally wore a different wig, and of course, Kimora is as low AF as me. I mean, I like, I feel her way like the same person because she spent hours on makeup. <laughs> and I would have been the same in a drag race. I'm like, yes, yes, that's how it's done. <laughs> that's why she's so slow. And when she has time, her makeup looks perfect, like in this picture on Instagram. And she, she still looks great on the show, but like you can say, you can see, like it's perfected. So I'm going with the makeup here, but with the eyebrows here. And because I like the open forehead and the eyebrows, this is what makes it distinct and not like every other girl, you know what I mean? So you can really see the Gamora, the, the, like this is the look, you know? So, so let's get into the tutorial. So let's start with this tutorial. 
If you guys are watching me for the first time, you might wonder what's going on with the eyebrows or the lack of. Uh, this is a permanent makeup that's kind of faded and I usually just fill them in with concealer. So if you guys are doing drag and you don't know what to do, Google on YouTube <laughs> uh, how to glue your eyebrows. Because the proper way is to use the glue stick Elmer's and since I don't have any hairs, there is no problem, so I'm going to use the concealer. So I live for Kamora, we are the same, literally the same person. She's like, I shave my eyebrows so it's easy. I'm like, yes, girl. I shave whatever the hairs are left. All of my three hairs on my eyebrows. So I primed my eyelids with P. Lee's base, this one, uh, 0.05, rumor. And I primed them all the way up here. Because if you notice, in the episode, uh, Overpool Drag Race, episode 4, she has the eyebrows that goes up and I really like that feature, it's kind of distinctive look because Kimora is gorgeous, but she's very basic. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> she's like astonishingly beautiful, but it's like, it's not very extreme makeup. So we have to make it something more recognizable. So I'm gonna make those eyebrows like hers uh, on stage. That's another thing that I agree with Kamora with, and I think like we like we feel each other. She does the eyes first, and I haven't seen a queen that does the eyes first yet. Most of them just bake first, and Kamora is like me. I can sit here four hours, look at the mirror, do makeup, I'm like yes, queen, yes, me too. <laughs> I would be always late too, but anyway, regardless. So for this look, I'm using Mitchell feet on the ground because. It's very green, so I'm also following her step-by-step uh, -step tutorial from the entrance look that's on RuPaul Drag Race web uh, website, RuPaul Drag Race channel. So in the uh, on the stage, she has a look that goes up, so that's why I put primer all the way up here, so we can actually blend the yellow all the way there. So I'm going to start with the green. I'm just going to use the Morphe JS Brushes 6, that's JS 6. And I'm gonna go in between these two colors. Uh, the green, the ain't, and greener. Because I wanted to make it green, but not too like green, kind of more army green. So I'm gonna tap in both shades between two. And remember, when you do look like this, you wanna make it bright, make sure you pat it on first. Do not swipe side to side like a windshield wiper, because it's gonna disappear. So press it on first. And then you'll get your pigmentation. So Kimora goes with eyeshadow all the way into the nose, like a lot of queens do. It kind of starts your contour and it starts the line. So the green, it went in there too. So I'm going to put it all the way up to my eyebrows because I'm going to put my eyebrows up higher. So that's not going to matter. So her look is kind of like around it, around the eye. And then I blended it out. Look like in the show she had a little yellow here. So I did blend into yellow on the other eye. So pretty much go all around above your crease because if you're doing drag, it has to be big. Especially if you're a natural female. You want to make it bigger so it looks more cartoonish, I would say. So I'm just gonna go right into a little lash line as well. Now I'm going to the next brush and that's JS. Mine, it's bigger and it's fluffy, it's good to blend out into the temple, pretty much. So I'm gonna go in between the yellow, which is Orchid, and I'll also use a little bit of Bittersweet, and a little bit of Clay Baby, because Clay Baby is a little too brownish, so I'm gonna kind of mix them all together to create a traditional look, traditional shade. And if I'm not happy, I can always go back to green and add more green. And now we're, gonna, we're going to pull it out all the way into yellow. At least that's what it looks like from the videos that you had yellow at the end. So next we're cutting the crease and I already cleaned up the eyelid area with Q-tip and micellar water, so Kamora does a rounded look. And she says to make the eyes look feminine, you want to create a rounded shape. So we have different eye shape. My eyes are more deep. Hers, like she has, doesn't have much of a 
uh, like a rich hair, you know, it's kind of easier to create this kind of look. So I might not go as so far in close to the nose as she does to create more rounded shapes. So you can always uh, customize the look to your own face shape. You have to look where your eyes are and what it looks like straight on. Because when you look straight on, the lines are always broken. So you have to make, put the lines to where it still looks rounded, you know what I mean? So I'm using NYX eyeshadow base, white. Uh, because this look has pretty much white uh, lid, completely white, I think it's matte. Just judging by the pictures on Instagram. And just take flat, sharp brush. Whatever brush you have that's skinny, and go for it. And just a warning, this NYX base, it's good, but it's very creamy. Like it creases immediately, so this eye is already creasing. So you have to set it immediately and pat it on. Maybe press it with a sponge, because otherwise it's going to be greasy, extremely greasy. Setting. A big brush, I'm going to go with ABH, uh, Alice Edwards. That's a good white, and I'm gonna do it as quickly as possible because the base is greasing incredibly fast. And then around the edges, I'm gonna go with a flat, tiny brush and make it neat. So next we're going to deepen the outer corner in the same order that she does. So I'm using a small brush and this is the JS12 and I'm gonna go into the black, which is called Ammo and I'm gonna go a little bit in more than the house to, to blend it out. So pretty much press it on and a little bit into the low lash line. Actually I'm gonna put it all over the low, low lash line because lower lash line is gonna be very smoked out and it's gonna be black in the waterline so I might as well put all the black in here already. So I smoked out the outer corner with the same eyeshadows and the same kind of water, the greener and the yellow one, you know, into the grease. So we got a little bit of more blended situation. And Gamora is a good makeup artist, guys. You have to watch her tutorial. You can tell she knows what she's doing. So I'm really like, yes. Uh, so she does those really straight eyebrows on the show, which I like. So. In the video tutorial, she does her eyebrows first with um, the stick, some kind of makeup stick. So I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Contour Stick in the color where is Walnut. It's like I always say, that's the only color they have in my local Walmart. And that's the color I'm using. So I'm gonna start just a little bit above my natural eyebrow. My natural eyebrow is somewhere here. Just like almost at the same place. It's always more flattering to start your eyebrow where your own eyebrow starts. For drag, there's no um, rules, of course, but it's always a little bit better where your own eyebrow and then you can drag it out. And go straight up all the way to the temple. Well, I'm sure my wig is gonna cover it up. My Amazon wig came today. I'm so excited. I ordered that sucker three days ago and I'm like the drag episode is on Friday, today is Wednesday, I'm filming this on Wednesday. I'm like if this does not come by Wednesday, on Thursday I'll have to do the whole thing and edit it. I'm glad it did not happen because I would be effed up and tired. So it's pretty much this can be messy because she cleans it up with concealer. Just like a lot of people do, queens or no queens. And then she draws individual lines, <clears throat> individual hairs with, uh, I think it was like a brown eyeliner. I don't have brown eyeliner, so we're gonna make do with something else. I need one of those filthy brown eyeliners. So I highlighted my brow bone space with concealer and then set it with some eyeshadow. I added the shimmer, bless you. It's not such an interesting part, I did it off camera. So now I'm adding a little hair, so it's black eyeliner. I took a liberty to take it in black because the wig is black. And it's really black, so just add, just any felt tip eyeliner will do. I really need to get a brown one for other looks. But for this look, black is good. 
So I did a little bit something off camera, the, something that nobody wants to see. A little bit of eyeliner, I use ABH eyeliner for the upper lash line and for the low lash line, waterline, I use the Beauty Bay eyeliner. Those are amazing. If you guys can get your hands on these Beauty Bay eyeliners, all of them are phenomenal and cheap. So uh, I primed uh, a moisturizer, of course, and I primed with e.l.f. body primer, just something. Now I'm going foundation. She used thick foundation, but we don't know her. I'm just gonna go with my thickest foundation I can find. I already blended some. I'm using the good old Foyera from AliExpress. <laughs> 274 each available on AliExpress. <laughs> I like this foundation. So it's I'm using shades 105 cent and 104 uh 104 above beige. Neither of them alone match me. But them both together are perfect. It's like the most neutral undertone I could find. And the coverage is insane. I don't know, some people hate this foundation, but I love it. Foundation done. And this is the full coverage foundation, you guys. Every time I use it, I'm like, I gotta use it more. It's so beautiful. So now I'm using my spatula to create something more bright. So I'm using this white stick that I still don't remember where I got it from. It's years old and it's probably expired and I keep using it and I'm still alive, so sue me. <laughs> so this, uh, mixing it with Kimchi Cheek Concealer, which is uh, the most it's not the moist, it's the most. <laughs> oh, medium beige, so it's pretty dark. And I'm mixing a Revolution Pro concealer in 6.5, just because. And I created this pretty light paste. And we're gonna smudge it all over. Well, all over, wherever it's needed. So she went like this under eyes. I'm just going by the tutorial. So what you guys were wondering where I'm looking, I'm going by the screenshots. I took like a gazillion of screenshots from her YouTube tutorial, step by step, you know, screenshot, screenshot, the, the video is playing. So you can see what the steps are. So now I'm looking at her steps, so I know what I'm doing. So she went a uh, little Hitler mustache <laughs> and a little bit of chin. And I think she used a thin brush for the nose, so we're gonna get to it. So the more the merrier. And we're going to blend this. And this should be highlighter of all highlighters. I mean, I might as well use a small brush now and drag it down my nose. Don't you live for this part when you just put it on and it looks all crazy? <laughs> it's just so enjoyable. Okay, now we contour, and I'm using the same stick from Wet n Wild. I'm going into this harsh C shape, but we're gonna blend this. I'm gonna take liberty and just contour my chin the way I usually contour, because I missed it, honestly, in her video. It doesn't look like she does a lot of contour on the chin. Now we're going to cut it with a little more of the same mixture. I'm taking a small gesso brush. This is just like a concealer brush to cut. She used like a sponge or something. I mean, you can use whatever, it doesn't really matter. As long as you blend afterwards. It has to be small enough to create a tight shape. Real snatched. For the nose contour, I'm using the same angle small brush. I use cream for the eyebrow, remember? So I'm gonna dip it into the same contour stick. She's using Kamara, she's using a real thin brush in her um, YouTube video. So we're going to follow this and snatch this nose, the house. Okay, nose is snatched the house. I'm so proud of myself with my snatch nose. My nose is not that big, guys, so <laughs> it's just for the art of track. So now it's time to set. I'm gonna go, guess what? I'm gonna use the old air spun. I think I'm gonna go through the whole top, but
by the end of this series. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this on my whole face, except for the under eyes. And I think she used that for the under eyes and she used it in the middle of the nose to highlight. And she used the different powder. So I'm gonna fabricate something because I'm a crafty queen, right? So let's set it. So I'm sitting here blending my eyeshadow a little bit in the inner corner with the white eyeshadow. And I discovered something accidentally. If I take some white and play a light eyeshadow from the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette, it's gonna create the perfect highlight. I'm like, if I'm going drag, I might as well go drag all the way. And I'm like destroying all these eyeshadows for my drag look because, you know, yellow. Why not? I put this SHT everywhere now because I'm liking this. Kamora used the pink tone because it's better for her skin tone, but I can get away with white because I'm extra like that. So we're gonna snatch the nose and bring the white all the way in. So, guys, if we contour a nose, even with a regular makeup, not drag, when you draw a dark line, right? Don't draw it all the way down because you're gonna make your nose look bigger. Draw a dark lines very close to the middle and the light all the way in the middle. Blend it well. I mean, for drag, you don't blend it well because it needs to be <laughs> snatched. <laughs> but for real life, you just blend it well and you put light powder all the way up to the, you know, the contour shade. This way, all of this is gonna look like the cheek, right? And your nose is gonna look super skinny. I mean, it's a little fakery, but it works and it works much better than you drag in the dark all the way down it's just gonna make your nose look huge actually it's gonna do the opposite so remember contour goes in the middle not all the way down and then the light shade goes all the way up that's why we bake and press the bake here to make your nose look snatched the house so next she counters with blush and the blush was like very pinkish shade like, not a cool like a warm pink so i'm gonna use the cyo blush it says crush on blush in the color just saying and it's very dark actually so i'm gonna go light on it but she kind of goes in the c shape and like i'm avoiding my brow area obviously because the brow in the on the episode was all the way to the temple so i'm just gonna kind of avoid that area and blush it she says she contours with blush because she's got so much cream contour already. And I kind of agree, cream contour or a regular contour, if it's cool tone, it tends to get very dark and cool. So we're going to warm it up with blush. Okay, using CYO bronzer in the color me When the sun don't shine or medium. I'm not sure which one is the name. As usual, the dumb blonde moment. It's like the time that I was reading something and I said the color is made in China. <laughs> well, you'll find all kind of gems on my channel like that. Taking my Blendiful and going over Makeup Revolution Contour Palette for two light shades. I'm just taking like two lightest shades. I'm gonna cut the cheek. I started on my lips. So I'm just studying Kimora's lip shape and it seems like she draws her cupid bow a little wider apart like than me. So I might have to like bring this side a little wider after I do everything because I want to see the first shape. Uh, the lip is going to be very deep dark red, kind of ombre, almost like a black on the outer corners, like from Instagram pictures and closer to the middle is bright red. It's really pretty actually. Uh, I was contemplating using black pencil, but <laughs> I don't want to end up with a cholo look because ain't, that ain't cute. So I'm gonna use some kind of like a, I don't know, it doesn't have a color name. It's very kind of burgundy-ish and I'm gonna use brown over it because I want to have this deep shade. So now we need to fill it in with a red lipstick and I have two good contenders. So I have this wet and wild lipsticks. One of them is really deep dark, is wine. And it's called Video Vixen. And this one is Missy and Fierce. So I'm gonna mix them together, put the Video Vixen on the outer corners and the red in the middle. And hey, if it doesn't work, 
we'll mix someone else on top. If it doesn't come out perfect, I'm having my little brush here, my little angle brush. It's thin, thin, thin. I'll take a little concealer and we'll clean it around the sides because her mouth looks freaking perfect in Instagram picture, so it has to be clean, clean, and even. Okay, we're getting close to the final stage, and it took me as long as it takes Kamora. I mean, it's been like, just honestly, it's been four hours. I mean, it takes me longer than a film, I have an excuse. <laughs> so this is a Beauty Bay highlighter, I'm gonna add that. Oh, the lashes, I, I just stacked a couple of pairs. I have one pair that's like thinner on the inside and thicker on the outside, and I stacked another pair on top. And this is some old lashes, I trimmed them to use as bottom lashes, because her bottom lashes are not the biggest, so this is kind of like modest. And she usually kind of hike them up high, so they really like stand up, so I really pull them up. I think I, I did Kamora justice, like the lashes are very Kamora. So now I'm going to use highlight. I sprayed myself with a setting spray. I'm going to use Beauty Bay highlighter, because it, she does highlight. And she did like in a C shape too, the same way she did the bronzer and the blush. This is the color Beam. So the wig cap is on. And I'm feeling myself. <laughs> so this is the Amazon wig I got. It's like 40 bucks. It's very long, it's very synthetic. It's lace runs, I cut the lace. I didn't do anything with the clips just because I'm lazy today and like it, I just literally just received it. So I'm gonna put this on. There's no way this wig is gonna do what the expensive Kamora wig everything was on top. But we're gonna try to work it and I'll be right back. So this is the final look. I'm kind of living the fantasy. I pulled this wig up all the way. As usual, it does not look pretty, but this wig is not meant to be worn up. And all those queens have all those elaborate wigs. When is somebody gonna wear a straight wig? Just a regular straight wig, shake and go for me, please. So I, I don't have to struggle. I didn't have anything cold, so I kind of draped myself. It's just a piece of fabric, just to be honest, because I'm a crafty queen. I put a little belt on my neck. And it kind of looks like an outfit. If you don't look closely, <laughs> you can see my shirt behind. So what do you guys think? Are you into Kimura Hall? Do you like her drag aesthetic? I think I can relate to her maybe even more than other queens because I like the full glam, the pageant queen, the all dolled up, the old school drag kind of thing and she embodies that in perfection, like she's the full perfection. So hopefully I made, uh, I did Kimura I did Kamora Hall proud. I love you, Kamora. If you ever watch this, I'm sure she won't, but <laughs> if she ever did, thank you so much for the inspiration. This was amazing. You guys, let me know what you think. Who do you think uh, should have gone home if you don't like the choice of who went home? Who do you think is going to go home next week? We never know because it can only always turn around and flip. But watch out for Denali. She's the lip sync assassin. I'm excited for this week's episode. You guys are watching this on Friday. I'm filming this on Wednesday. So I'm excited to see who is going home next <laughs> because that's who I'm gonna do. And that's always an exciting part as well. So like this video if you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time and also go live almost every Monday at 11. So huge, huge thank you as usual to my Patreon group, to all my patrons. You guys are amazing. If you guys are interested, then the link to my Patreon group is in the description box. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!